Okay, you know the score by now, as I always say. So, the customer reports he's got various warning lights, warning messages on the dashboard when he starts it up and the speedo doesn't work. So let's put the ignition on. Team, understand your business. So let's just turn the radio off. So we've got front cam camera malfunction, got the airbag light on, ABS, traction control light. Obviously, I've just turned the undone the handbrake, so that's that light there. Uh, got lane assist or lane departure warning, that's disabled as well, that'll be due to the camera. So let's just give it a quick road test and let's see if the speedo does work. I'll not go off site. Okay. So I'm currently moving and there's no speedo. Okay, let's get some code. Uh, let's get some codes out of the system. Got my words muddled there, and let's take this job a little bit further. Okay, so we're using four scan as normal, and we're just going to do a system sweep. So it's going through its system sweep now, and we can see we've got some fault codes in there. So in the PCM, we've got invalid data received from the brake system control module. Uh, in the APIM, that's a sync module. I'm not really too fussed about the fault codes there. Not really my concern. ABS, we've got invalid data received from the PCM. Those two faults go hand in hand. And we've got a left front wheel speed sensor. That's interesting. Signal rate um, incorrect. We've got a invalid data in the restraints control module, lost communication on the park assist, and now we're going into the body control module, got cruise control issues there, a lighting issue, the cruise control switch, incorrect component, it's not really my concern. What else we've got here? We've got front wiper motor, an internal component failure, again not really my concern, the wipers are working circuit current above threshold again in the wiper motor image processing module a that's the front camera again invalid data received from the abs uh, camera b we've got some fault codes there again not really my concern a um, few more fault codes there in the image processing camera b that's the rear camera guys and we've also got um, Front control display interface module initial configuration not complete. Again, not really my concern. I think the main concern we've got here is the left front ABS sensor. So we've got a few fault codes in the system. Um, the biggest one that's a concern for me is the front ABS sensor. However, I've never known on a Ford, and I do stand to be corrected, that uh, an ABS speed sensor can knock out the whole speedo so what I'm just going to do now is do a self test on the dashboard or the instrument cluster um, can't show the process because I'm using the Ford Diag tool and I don't want to get into any copyright issues so I'm just going to run the test now so it's running now just wanted to see if the speedo works you can see there the speedo is working So at least we know now we've got uh, a working speedo, the motors and everything inside the speedo and the instrument panel are all working okay. So let's continue a little bit further. Right, so we've done a, a needle test, um, a sweep test and everything on the dashboard. So what I'm just gonna do now, I've just got the vehicle jacked up in the air, just gonna start it up and just see what sort of signals we're getting from the ABS just on the front, it's the left front that's the fault, so I've just put it into gear and we're doing around about nine miles an hour. Just increase it a little bit. 14 kilometers, sorry, not miles an hour. And as you can see, the left front has an erratic signal. So we're possibly now looking at 
a, um, a pickup which I believe is on the bearing on these but we'll just take the wheel off and have a better look. Right, so I've got the left hand front wheel off and surprise, surprise, the customer hasn't come clean with us. It's already got a new wheel speed sensor on it. And I did smell a rat when typical Ford, all the wheel nuts are all mullered over as well. Um, so I'm just gonna disconnect the sensor. Obviously that's not even secure there. Take the sensor out where it goes onto the wheel bearing, make sure it's not damaged or anything like that. Um, and then potentially if I can see anything on the bearing but I think we're heading towards a new bearing so I've secured the sensor which the fitter of the sensor never actually did and I've got the sensor out a little bit of rust on it but nothing nothing major nothing really to worry about it's not chewed up or anything no damage where it's been fitted so I'll just get my torch and have a look, see if I can see anything in the bearing itself. And we'll go from there. So as you can appreciate, it's now and impossible for me to show you down that hole. However, I've spun the wheel round, or I've spun the disc round. Can't really see anything untoward in there, but I think I'm gonna, uh, for want of a better term, knob this for a new wheel bearing. One thing that has just raised a little bit of doubt though guys is it is a non-genuine ABS sensor from a well-known supplier of, well, quality in inverted commerce parts. So, hmm, not sure now whether I should take the passenger uh, driver's side sensor off and just swap it over. We'll see, I'll see what the customer wants to do, see how far they want to go. Okay, so I've just deleted the fault codes as you can see and I'm, what I'm going to do now is just go back and I'm going to run some live data just whilst it's still on the ramp um, see what happens So I'll start her up put her into gear And now, obviously, we've got an erratic reading because the traction control is kicking in. I've got no throttle response, obviously, but you can see that the speedo is working now. So I'll just lower it down onto the ground and we'll go around the block. And we'll be interesting to see then what sort of signal we're getting. Okay, so I'll just quickly drive this on site. Um, so we're not bound by any legal laws. And let's just see. So, yeah can see there that the speedo is working so what I'll do now I'll switch over to live data and take it on a road test and try and do a running commentary okay so we're just pulling away from a standstill and I can pretty much see there we're still getting the dropouts on the left front speed sensor and I wouldn't be surprised if during the road test that the light comes back on again but as you can see yeah the traction control light has just gone out again and I've lost the speedo. Airbag light has just come on on road test and the ABS light. So I'm gonna knock this for a, a wheel bearing, which comes with the, obviously the speed sensor. And I think it's best as well. Let me just show you there. So we're driving down the road now and all the lights are on. And I think I'm also going to knock it for a genuine um, ABS sensor so we can at least know we're uh, singing with the same hymn sheet, so to speak, and we're fitting quality parts. So hopefully I'll be getting the job to fix and I can show you the before, well I've shown you the before, let's hopefully I can show you the after. Failing that, I'm going to call this one diagnosed. It's the next day now, I've just changed the front wheel bearing and I haven't changed the sensor. I've kept the sensor in, um, and of course on, the sensors are on back order at the moment. So I've just changed the wheel bearing, I've cleared the fault codes down, and I'll just give it a quick, I'm in the yard at the moment. So 
we can see there, you know, obstructed now by my hand and the steering wheel. But the steering wheel is, sorry, the um, speedo is working. And we've got, I'll just switch now to the live data. And we've got a steady speed on the display. So what I'll do, I'll just put the phone down as I go onto the road. show that beeping noise there is the seatbelt reminder so I haven't put the seatbelt on and what I'll do all right we're just about now on the road big yard where I work so now we're on the road and you can see on the live data that we've got even speeds no dropouts and the light has stayed out so far, the speedo is working, no traction control lights on. So I am gonna call that a fix. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe, please share, please like. Every subscription and like and comment helps the channel grow a little bit further. Cheers guys.